That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, let's try this out. Rock. Ah, 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 go, go, go. Totally worked. Alright, so I'm not sure if he's gonna be there for too long, so let's hurry up. Alright, so it is time. I imagine the majority of you guys are familiar with the Dota Escape games. If you are not, I definitely encourage you to check them out. They're all basically free Flash games at this point. First one, you're a werewolf. Second one, zombie apocalypse. Third one, I think it's in space. And here today, we have probably my favorite setting, a post-apocalypse itself. Um, I've been looking forward to this one for a while. Comes out on the 11th. I'll have all the information down below. It's going to be available on Steam and I believe on good old games as well. So there's two ways this is going to go down. Number one, I get to I get a chance to flex the old brain muscles and we actually survive. Or number two, we will die very, very gruesome deaths in this game. Uh, left click to interact and right click to examine. All right. Options menu, you got it. So this is my boy over here. We get to move around freely. We have ourselves a door, we got ourselves a window. Let's check out what's in the window. Ah! But the... What the hell was that? It was like a freaking spider. Alright, it was apparently just a nightmare though. What a nightmare. It all felt so real. No kidding me, man. That thing just came out of nowhere. Let's pick up your backpack, I guess. Use the backpack icon to access your inventory. Notice you have a limited carry capacity. Do we now? Oh yeah, we can carry up to 30 kg. The old kilograms, right? And remains of a campfire. That campfire kept me warm through the night. There's nothing left of it now. That's about it. Alright, what else have we got here? The moon. It shattered, just like all the dreams humankind ever had. Well, I guess um, that probably explains part of the apocalypse here. A shattered moon. Is that something back there? No? Okay. Into the wasteland we go. Oh, we can run. Sweet. Are those spider webs on the wind? They're huge. Oh no, is that why? Is that why a giant spider dropped on top of me? It's been a while since I've written anything here. The world is dead, they say, so why even bother? I think the moon, what's left of it, is getting bigger every day. I had a weird dream last night. Huge spiders attack me. Their bites were painful, their poison was burning in my veins. This morning, I saw huge webs carried by the wind. I have to find a place to hide. So that's what's happening here, like giant spider apocalypse? That is, oh god. Especially for a dude like me who doesn't like bugs. And I know, I know, Falcon. Actually, Falcon, spiders not really bugs. Okay, you know what, man? They're close enough to bugs to me, all right? Double click to run. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. So let's look around. A oh, wall. <laughs> hey, look at that. Trump finally got his wall. Apparently got broken into, though. I don't have time to walk around this wall. There's got to be a faster way to get to the other side. While your time is limited, keep in mind it only advances with certain actions. You will be warned each time before that happens. Yeah, so like these Dota Escape games are very time oriented. Like, it doesn't matter how much time you spend in the game, but certain actions do take up time, so... Not everything you do is viable, so that's where it becomes like really difficult and you gotta like really use your brain power in a sense to be like, okay, is this worth it? Am I using my limited time properly here? Because if you don't, you're not gonna survive. Wooden fence. Some actions were required to be completed, for instance. Yeah, that's kind of what we talked about too, right? Yeah. So this action, for instance, apparently would take three minutes to do. It's 7 a.m. We have 13 hours left before the end of the day. So I imagine we gotta find safety before the end of the day itself. We have a shed here, a sledgehammer head. Okay. Sledgehammer head and a solid wooden, can we combine these? Yeah, we can. Perfect. A hole in the wall. If only that hole was a bit larger, I could squeeze through the other side of that wall. Well, what if we use this some um, apparently homemade sledgehammer we just got here? Will that get you through? That's what's up. This is just hammering away. A big hole. Go through it. And I really love, like, I've always loved the Dota Escape pixel art style. Like, this is, like, awesome to me. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe because I grew up with it, but I love this minimalistic pixel art style. This looks very, really good. Like, what they want to kind of get across in terms of, like, the setting and everything, it still comes through very, very well. Why am I sinking? Into the wasteland? Sure. It's some sort of quicksand. I'm too heavy. I should get rid of that sledgehammer. Drop an item on the arrow button to put it on the ground. Oh. Oh, I, I feel like having a sledgehammer would be really useful. Alright. 
I guess we can take it with us. Time to trap. A vast desert lies ahead. It's a long walk, though you have no other way but to traverse it. The action will take 50 minutes. I mean, I gotta get through it, right? So, go for it. Well, this place looks promising. Alright, we have a pad uphill, which apparently is a house. A uh, road to the west. With a sign. Gas station, 1.5 miles, alright. And a road east. Well, let's check out west first. I guess maybe we should go to the house first. I should find a safe place for the night before exploring any further. Oh, okay, so you maybe you want me to go up to the house first. Yeah, alright. Um, let's see. Pad uphill and a pad uphill. We got two of them. Well, let's check out the backside first. Giggity, giggity. Oh, we're at a barn. Mmm, a short pipe. Pipes are always useful in these games, man. Anything else we can interact with? A haystack. Let's kick in the haystack. There are some seriously big holes in this pipe. So more than likely, we might have to cover those stuff to use whatever this might be. A water pump and an irrigation control system. A pesticide inlet. I should find a way to get into the house before I start filling with things in here. Oh, there's also a car. I should find a way to get... Okay, fine. <laughs> I just want to explore, my dude. Alright, let's go to the house. Well, let me pick up the pipe at least. Ooh, what's that? A water sprayer. Okay. And a greenhouse. I can recycle some of the nails that hold the greenhouse together, but I need a tool for that. That hammer could have been useful, you know what I'm saying? A kitchen door. It's locked. No surprise there. Let's go to the front then. Oh, we got a window. And we have a pipe. Who wants to take a wager that we use this pipe to get through this window? I have to break that. Yeah. Figured this much. Well, luckily we got a pipe. Nice, you gotta brush the glass away. You don't just want to crawl in there when there's still shards poking out. It's a good way to get yourself cut. This place looks abandoned. Staying here might be a good idea, but I only have a few hours to convert this ruin into a fortress before my nightmare catches up with me. I should go look around and explore. The road sign might be a good start. Alright, let's start off here. A painting. Ah! Oh, that throwback. Don't escape fans will probably notice what that is. We have ourselves a photo. This photo of an old lady was taken years ago. The colors have faded a bit, but her warm smile is still clearly visible. The kindling box is empty. Fireplace is empty. Okay. Storage chest. Remember your inventory is limited. You can put items here to use later. Nice. Got ourselves a hammer with a broken handle. And glimmering over here, we have ourselves some keys. House keys. Okay, so we could probably use that on... Unlocked it just now. Alright. And that way we could just basically take a shortcut to the back. Oh, you could, um... Really? I think I don't have to, like, run through the entire screen. I could just double-click where I'm going and it'll just, um, kind of warp us there. Perfect. Papers. There was a paper clip holding several sheets of paper together. The documents themselves don't want to use for information. Just some invoices for farming equipment. But we have a paper clip. Which you could probably use it to break into something yet, more than likely. Assuming our boy here can't pick locks. Since we checked the house out already, do you let me mess around with the car now? Yeah. This car seems to be in bad shape. Without taking a moment to inspect it, you can't be sure what needs to be done, apart from finding a spare wheel, of course. It is missing a wheel. Checking it will take some time. Do you want to do this? It'll take 50 minutes. Go for it. Well, the car could be started, I guess, but it doesn't look very good. Obviously, a wheel is missing. The ignition coil is busted. It has no fuel. So, fuel, ignition coil, and a wheel. And it's got a cargo box. Anything back here? Oh, I see. So, we could use this to bring things back and move them around. We have a road west, and we have a road east. Let's get you out east first. Oh god, those corpses are covered in spider webs. It looks like these men put up a fight. But they didn't stand a chance in the open. Does that mean they're still around? They better not be around. There are some bite marks on its skin. Ugh. 
That is some big ass fangs on that spider. Well, we got a wrench over here. That seems very important. Let's hope it'll be more useful to me than it was to them. There's a small leaflet tucked between the folds of the ripped clothes. Attention team, as of this week, we've been hired by the locals to help deal with an outbreak of some variety of mutated spiders. Supposedly a result of space radiation or something. I don't know, it sounds strange, but it's real. Don't hope to get any superpowers when they bite you, other than the power to lay paralyzed as they eat you alive. Anyway, we have some scent repellents left in the stock. James has identified which subspecies of those creatures will be discouraged by which scent. He probably wrote it down somewhere, just ask him. Well, it probably won't help if he's already dead, huh? But if he has it written down somewhere, maybe we could find it. Alright. So, a scent. We have a car, too. I have to take a closer look at this vehicle. Do you want to inspect it? Uh, 15 minutes, huh? Well, sure. Maybe we could find something here that we use for our car. The car is busted, so it's not going anywhere. One part that seems to be fine is the ignition coil! I could remove it. Adjustable wrench? Aha! Uh -huh. Go for it. 45 minutes. Oh. Well, we still have 11 hours and 22 minutes left. Of course, I'm not really sure how much time freedom we have to get everything done. I removed the ignition coil from the car. Alright. It'll take 15 minutes to do so. Well, I mean, we're going to have to do it eventually, right? So, there it is. Done. A destroyed bridge. Alright, we have a ravine. A car wreck. This car has been wrecked beyond repair. Maybe I could take its wheel off if I had a wrench. Oh, we do have a wrench. Aha! A stack of planks. I can take those planks with me, but they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. A small spade. Well, that's not good. A wooden... Oh! Oh! Hey! All right. This boy just makes hammers and sledgehammers like nothing. He has two pieces, puts them together, it works. He's like MacGyver. A stack of planks. All right, so... I mean, we have a hammer, but... Maybe nails to make the bridge? Well, we have the hammer. Does that greenhouse? Maybe we should go back to the greenhouse now. And a car wreck. Um, you said wheel, correct? You could try to remove the wheel from the car wreck. Its current position takes it a bit tricky. Even the wrench will take some time. 15 minutes. Yeah, go for it. Apart from almost falling off the cliff once, all went well and I got the wheel. 15 minutes? Yeah, go ahead. So now, the only thing we're technically missing is going to be gas. Now, luckily, there is a fuel station that way, so that's probably where we're going to find that. A greenhouse. Is this the reason why we needed a hammer? Use hammer on greenhouse? I mean, that's one way to get nails. You could pry some of the nails off, yep. Handful of nails. But, now, is it going to make me choose, like, do I want to build a bridge, or should I use the nails for the windows instead? Because sometimes these games give you that option, like between or the other. One of them will work, one of them will not. Can I still use it more? Yes. I can use more. How many can I do this? Is that it? Oh, no, no. Could do more. Greenhouse? Any more nails? I mean, if we can just keep getting nails off, this is great. Apparently, we can. There are no nails left. Ah, oh, okay. So, well, at least we were able to get four stacks of nails, so that's perfect. I'm gonna take one and leave three, because we have three windows, right? We can use, like, one, two, three for the windows. Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna take one, and hopefully one stack of nails is enough to build a bridge. Does it make any sense? I don't know, man. I have no idea. A ravine. So, um, nails on you. Do you want to use the hammer and nails to build a makeshift bridge? This will require one handful of nails, but it will allow you to travel through the ravine without any delays. However, you will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. Oh. But if I do it again, would I get, like, enough to get the car to pass? Because right now this seems to be enough for you, right? Yeah. Okay. So now the thing is, do I want to go ahead and use the nails that we have over there for the windows to make the bridge for the vehicle? I guess we'll cross that bridge. Ha <laughs> ha! Is that what I did there? When we get there. Alright, so here's a gas station. Gas station shop. A parking lot. 
Ah, no, no. Okay. Spider Boy is there. Spider Boy is absolutely there. I don't know what he was doing, but I'm not sure if I didn't give him enough time to kill me, but there was definitely a Spider Boy there. Does this, is this like a different shop or is that... Okay. He's over there. Well, I don't know how to proceed over here because that boy is right over there. I mean, maybe do we just pick up some of the stuff that's there? That could be the case. Um, and here we have ourselves a gas truck. Well, I guess we might know where to get the fuel. Fuel valves. There is a valve from which the fuel should flow, but how do I open it? Wrench? But, I mean, if I use that, I mean, where, what, no, no, don't use it. What am I dumping the fuel into? We gotta find, like, a container for that. It's also a small rock here. I don't know what to do. Window net? A window net. Plastic wrap. See, it's not really do it. I mean, we can't use any of this to deal with Spider Boy and metal bars. But more than likely, we could use these two for our defense back home. Alright. A stack of plates. Breaking this pile of plates could sure make a lot of. Oh! I feel ya. I kind of see what's happening here. So... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, the rock. Okay. Throw the rock and then run out and he'll come over to this thing and then we can... Through here? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Okay, let's try this out. Rock. Ah, 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 ah. Go, go, go. Totally worked. Alright, so I'm not sure if he's gonna be there for too long, so let's hurry up. Canister! It's empty. Well, okay, that's perfect. We we know where to get the fuel, boy. Newspaper and magazine stand. Do we have a limited time here or what? A newspaper from the long ago sits in magazine stand. Lunar explosion. The world is still in shock after yesterday's explosion that it was left of our moon with huge cracks visible to the naked eye from Earth. Scientists say that while it may look dangerous, there is no need for concern. The cracks are surface level only, and the explosions will have no serious consequence. I'm not so sure about that, considering, um... How things played out, huh? So this was in March 12, 1996. Oh, there's still more. The cause of the event is still unknown. Many points, many point to one of the world's largest tech corporations, Sidereo Plexus, that was rumored to launch a mining operation on the moon earlier this year. A spokesman from the company has denied those claims. Yes, we were preparing to dig for Helium-3 this autumn, but I assure you we haven't even started. Now, of course, the whole operation is going to be halted into further notice, he adds. Other experts believe the explosion was caused by an undetected meteor that crashed into the moon. Whatever the case might be, the government of the worlds urged people to remain calm. That was March 12th? When does my journal start? Oof. So, whatever went down, went down quickly. This man is dead. Covered with webs and partially eaten, I don't want to touch him. No kidding. Is that a gun? It is a gun. I have a hunting rifle and some bullets. Not a perfect weapon against these bastards, but it will probably help. What else can I do to prepare? Alright, so we have a weapon to defend ourselves, at least. Mm, can't really carry too much more, unfortunately. What is this? Cash? Well, you never know. Maybe it's going to be worth something again someday. <laughs> Got some cash. Really. A lot of cash. Alright. A crowbar is stuck. Okay, crowbar is always important in these games. Take that crowbar with you. Don't matter how much time that would take. A trinket stand. There is a lighter here that could be useful. Perfect. 27.6. Alrighty. Well, we can't carry much more weight-wise. So, homeboy's probably there. I think, what if we could just go through here and just skip out? Skip them all together? Oh, jeez, Louise, he's outside! Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Oh, you scum. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be stuck in there. Well, we shot him and he ran away. Didn't kill him, though, so yeah, the guns aren't really too effective against these bad boys here. Okay, so with this, the car should be activated now, or at least active, assuming nothing else happens to it. Should have all the parts to it. It's too heavy. The item weighs 10 kg. Ah. Oh. I mean, we could always come back and pick you up later. So for now, this seems to be more important. 
Alright guys, remind me, Falcon, you have a window net and plastic wrap over there. And I guess now we should just probably book it straight home. And get our car activated. I feel the car! And we can use it to travel now, boys! Alright, with that said and done, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Small little preview right now thus far, but as I mentioned, I don't mind doing some more, so if you guys enjoyed, want to see some more, let me know in the comments, give a thumbs up, and we'll come back and do some more of this. I would not be opposed to it. So far, I'm really digging it. I'll catch you guys next time.